What is up, guys? It is XX Modern Tutorials here, and this is episode two of the Batch File Coding and Programming series. So let's get started. Open up your Notepad, and today I'll be teaching you three simple commands: CLS, color, and mode. So let's get to it. All right. So first, CLS. Start off with add echo off. Well, pretty much CLS. What this pretty much does is clears up your text. So you can see that crap right there. Just type in CLS and it's gone. Magic. So you can pretty much type a diary on Notepad. Uh, <laughs> on you can pretty much have a diary on the command prompt. So you can just every day go on your Notepad, type in echo and just type out all the crap you want. Echo. And then you can have like after it's pretty much like turning the page in a book. So after you're done with with this page, you just add a pause, CLS, and another pause, so it warns you before going out again. Alright, so it's pretty much like oh yeah, I need to save it. YouTube dot bat. Alright. I don't think it's about YouTube, yeah, it's way ahead. Alright. So open it up. It gives you the pause and then boom there's your text that you entered and then there that's CLS it pretty much just clears up the page so you can be writing like day 3783 they haven't found me yet or you can just write whatever you want um for the echo you can just write whatever you want as usual and yeah you it's pretty much what CLS is that's pretty self-explanatory it's like clearing the page or turning the page or whatever whatever you want to refer it to but that's pretty much what CLS does it clears everything up and gives you more space to do the other crap you want to do um, the next one color alright so color if you've watched my previous videos if you've watched my um my matrix tutorial you know that I use color 0a that is one of the color ones typing in when you opened up um, CMD just type in color red and you will have this so just type in color red you could type in color blue or color yellow but just type in color red because it's the shortest letter color that I know. And it's also the shortest letter color here. So just type in color red to save you like half a second or something like that. But yeah. So this pretty much explains it. Color attributes are specified by two hex digits. The first corresponds to the background, the second, the foreground. Each digit can be any of the following values 0 through 9 and A through F. So the first one is the background so zero as in my matrix tutorial black you keep it black and the next one is the actual text so a light green it's pretty much the same color but uh, let's do another one let's do seven the background is going to be white and the text is going to be light red seven c so that's seven c that's you can pretty much customize the text and everything so if you were to write a diary on CMD, you could pretty much make it a pretty pimped out diary. It would be like a digital diary through CMD, and you could like put like pimp out the text by making it like your own personal color with this. And it also works on Notepad. So let me show you. Put in the pause after the before the um, echoes. Before you type in the echoes, you want to put in the color before the echo. So let me do that. All right, now let me open it. All right, so gives me the pause, and then there. So you could write it through Notepad and CMD. So you pretty much you can write all the commands through Notepad and CMD. <laughs> so oh crap, print no 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 don't print it no. <sighs> okay, um, that's pretty much color. And if you're wondering, the one that I just did the white that's not really a white background it's a light gray but if you guys want like the paper white like the 
legit white or whatever you want to call it is F C. So that's like the like the paper like the white as we know it. Because on the CMD the white is like like light gray. So bright white is pretty much the standard white as we say it as. So that's the white. So that's only if you were wondering that if I typed in white and it was light gray, CMD refers to it as white and bright white. So, all right, so the next one is mode. Same thing, if you watched my matrix tutorial, you would know that mode makes your CMD 1,000 times bigger. So you maximize it, and that's CMD. It's like half of my monitor. What mode does, type in mode 1000, it makes it full screen. So that's pretty much what mode does. It's pretty self explanatory. You can use mode on your text. Um, again, with a diary, um, you could write like a really long sentence and then like a lot of sentences. <laughs> but the mode would make you so you would be able to see it. So mode 1000. And then the echo, and then the pause. Alright. So open this up. And there you go. So you see the whole thing. But, it like, in the regular CMD, if you didn't type in mode 1000, it would just go down to the next line. So let me take this off. It would just it would just take it on to the next line. So as you know, the D, 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 it all went like all the way through over here with mode 1000. But with the regular CMD, it just went to the next line. So if you were typing a sentence through the echo command, and it just like, if you didn't type in mode 1000, it would just like go to the next line. And if you were in the middle of a word or a sentence, it would probably be weird. And um, yeah, it's pretty much mode 1000. Um, that's about it guys for this tutorial. I'll be making another one, episode 3 of the Batch File Coding and Programming. Just comment, like, subscribe, and comment if you would want episode 3, some more videos, continue the series. That's about it guys. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Peace.